Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Former Missouri basketball star Marcus Denman is set to play pro ball, but not in the NBA, rather in Europe. Denman has signed a one-year deal to play with Shalon in the French League. The San Antonio Spurs drafted Denman in the second round of last month's NBA draft, but he has decided to go overseas instead. Denman averaged 18 points and five rebounds during his senior season at Missouri. He earned first team all Big 12 honors for the second consecutive year. And the Dodgers had won eight straight games against the Cardinals before St. Louis finally halted that streak two nights ago. Last night, the two teams squared off for game three of the series at Bush Stadium. And off to Bush we go, where it was hot, hot, hot temperatures staying in the triple digits well throughout. But enough about the weather, let's see how hot the bats on the field were. Top of the second no score when newly acquired Hanley Ramirez comes through with a triple at his first ever at bat for the Dodgers. Great way for him to start out his new career. He scores later on the inning and gives the Dodgers a 1-0 lead. Bond the second, still same score, 1-0, but Cardinals have runners on the corners for David Fries, who hits into a double play, and Alan Craig will come in and score. Cardinals tie the game up at 1. Now go on to the top of the six, two on Cardinals, when once again is new kid on the block, Hanley Ramirez. He singles to center, Mark Ellis scores, game tied at two, and we would have to go into extra innings to solve this one. Rafael Fercal at bat with the chance to do something special. He hits a line drive base hit. Joe Kelly scores from second, and St. Louis wins 3-2 in spectacular fashion in the 12th inning. And now let's move on to the Royals and the Angels in Anaheim. Bottom of the first, two nothing Angels. Alberto Cayaspo will double to center. Mark Trumbo comes in to score on the play. That makes it three nothing Angels. On the second, three nothing Angels. When Tory Hunter singles to left, both Bobby Wilson and Mike Trout come in to score on the play, and the Angels led five nothing. Only two innings in. Not a great start if you're a Royals fan. Bottom of the fourth, seven nothing Angels at this point, and they just keep on adding insult to injury. Bobby Wilson homers to left. That is his second solo shot on the year, and the Angels increase their lead to 8-0. Bottom of the fifth, finally we can show you some Royals runs. Billy Butler, the all-star, he blasts a two-run bomb to the left. That's his 20th home run of the season, but it was still 8-2 Angels at that point. Royals, they were just too far behind. Bottom of the eighth, Jeff Francoeur up at bat. He hits a three-run blast to center. That is his ninth of the season, but the Royals still trailed 8-5. They tried to mount a comeback, but it was not nearly enough as the Angels win 11-6. And a sure sign that the high school football season is almost here. The pigskin preview photo shoot took place at Hickman High School yesterday. 13 of the top high school football players in the state gathered for the cover shoot of the magazine. Pigskin Preview gives a rundown of area high school teams and colleges, including the Missouri Tigers, who are making their move to the SEC. The magazine will be out during the week of August 13th. It's pretty cool. Um, I've always looked at the magazine at the beginning of the season and just seeing who's on there. And it's really impressive to see the guys you can see on there. And it's, a, it's really special to me to be on the cover. I hope to have another good year like last year. Um, I'm going to just keep working hard, and hopefully our team can be as good as it has been in the past few years. So I think we'll have another good season. Expectation is always to win a state championship, so I want to go out with a bang and hopefully bring home a ring. And a Tiger turned Dolphin. Former Missouri tight end Michael Agnew has signed a contract with the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins drafted Agnew in the third round of last April's NFL draft. He played 51 games during his Missouri career, making 147 catches and scoring eight touchdowns. And let's cap off sports with a little tennis news. The Missouri tennis team has added a transfer. Sierra Gayton Leach transfers to the Tigers from Texas. She will have two seasons to play, and she will be eligible immediately. And that's everything for sports. Exciting night for Cardinals fans, those of you who stay tuned to see the conclusion of the There's game. There's no way I could stay awake, but I did wake up this morning and check my phone to see what the score was, so it was exciting to see the highlight. Thank you, you can't very much. stay up that late anymore. Very late. <laughs>